Rocket Like Love. It's me, Simon and the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. What are you doing? Like, comment, share. Give me some feedback. Okay. So, the answers that you seek are on the way, collective. There's some answers that's coming towards you. Some clarification is coming in for you, right? Something, um, <coughs> excuse me, possibly about your financial stability, your financial health, right? So you're finding the willpower to move forward. You're going to be getting different messages through the animals, okay? And even in this card, there's a bunch of birds here. So, and that bird and that animal card is really big as well. So, yeah, that owl stands out to me because owls represent wisdom. Just trust, you know, that all the answers that you need are about to flow towards you with ease. Say it with me. I call all the answers that I need towards me with ease or something like that. I call all the answers that I need to flow towards me with ease. All the answers that I need are flowing towards me with ease. Ah, there you go. All the answers that I need are flowing towards me with ease. There you go. So, accept forgiveness and see your life. Be, you know, be forgiving. Because your ability to forgive is going to inspire a lot of people. All right? So, there's, I'm telling you, there's something coming in here with about some money. You might get some answers about some money, right? And it's going to require you to forgive some people. Because you're going to be surprised to know what's really been going on with that money that's owed to you. So be compassionate. Hold on to compassion, okay? Because I said this before. If people knew better, they do better. So whoever this is obviously doesn't know any better. If there was something going on where someone was taking some money from you, okay? Get ready to travel. Know that through your traveling, you will be protected. All right. What else? Yeah, you got some good luck on your side. Collective 222 on the phone as I say that. Yes. Good luck. Hey, and protection and traveling. Hey. Okay, now. So, your spirit guides want you to be at peace and trust that, you know, as you shine light on the truth, you're going to be blessed for your courage, okay? Because it takes a lot of courage to stand in your life purpose and speak the truth, okay? Know that you are protected. You got spirit guides that are protecting you in different forms, shapes. Like, you got different animals that protect you and will literally go to war with other people for messing with you and your family. So somebody could mess with you and then get attacked by a dog and not really realize that that was your spirit animal. I mean, that was a kind of like graphic example, but you know what I mean, okay? What else for the collector? Your spirit guys got your back in a massive way because it takes a lot of courage to stand up and speak the truth, um, especially when you're like, going through a lot and there's a lot of people attacking you okay spiritually physically mentally to still be able to speak the truth that takes a lot of courage and because you're doing it you're going to be blessed you have a lot of good luck on your side here we go heartache and loss like i said i feel like you're gonna have to be very much compassionate when you figure out what's been going on with this money um and you get these answers um to whatever you know questions you would have had about this money okay so be hopeful because your intuition is going to guide you towards what you need to do here we go again with the heart chakra here that has a lot to do with compassion a lot to do with forgiveness so it's going to take time for you know things to balance out but don't block your heart chakra and get bitter okay Yeah, and be very, very much spirit-led. Remember when we said that your spirit guides are showing up as different animals. So these are choices here, okay? These animals, these two birds are flying before this person that's sitting here on this, uh, this deck. Be careful which way, which direction you go towards. 
you know, sit down and ask God, ask your spiritual team to really guide you. Speak with your ancestors and ask them to help you to sail towards positive movement, okay? Something positive is coming in here for you. And it's in alignment with your destiny. Because you speak the truth and you bring peace to a lot of different people, you are going to um, be very successful, okay? So stand your ground. No, I don't care who comes against you. You stand your ground because you, as someone who comes from light, rainbow is a reflection of light. You come from light, okay? You have come here to, you know, go through different challenges and, and sacrifice living in this 3D realm to open up people's, to use your intuition to open up people's, you know, insight, you know, you're going to help people start new beginnings. And it's also time for you to sacrifice, um, <clears throat> sacrifice some things so that you can embrace these new beginnings and walk in your destiny, Oops. walk in your destiny fearlessly. Yeah, because you speak the truth. And this is something that, you know, is like, it makes you feel good. So, you know, you're doing, you're speaking truth and bringing this balance to so many different people's lives. It's also helping people to ignite their own passions and stand up for their own selves so that they can figure out what it is that they're destined to do. You're inspiring so many people. There's something here that you're about to birth that is going to feed generations to come after you. This is has to do with your third eye and how intuitive you are. You can intuitively predict um, a lot of things that can help people move in the nick of time. Okay? This is with that time in his hand, that clock in his hand. Somebody's time has ran out. And so now it's time for them to move forward. Okay? This could also be somebody... Um, you know, where there, like I said, there was a lot of challenges that you were facing at first. These people now are being forced to move forward because your spirit team is not playing. Love is going to flow in here, right? As you decide to continue to transform and allow your life to, you know, go in a positive direction, things are going to just keep getting better and you're going to keep learning. You have to learn. You have to learn because the universe is speaking to you and trying to tell you what it is that, you know, you need to learn and also help you to remember the universal wisdom that you already have within your own soul. Okay. Anything else for the collective? Yeah. So where these people were coming against you, trying to sit on this conflict, all these demons and different ghouls and, and, and whatever the hell, it's like you're unmovable. You have a firm foundation. At this point, them demons answer to you because you didn't kick so many, so many of them. You, you've already defeated so many of them. So you have a very high spiritual rank. And that's what is established your firm foundation. You are unmovable. Okay? So just be patient. Because there's some things that's coming in here soon. Okay? Some new things that's going to come in here soon. Keep shining your light. Because people need to hear what you have to say. You are. People need to hear what you have to say. You need to speak your truth be in nature okay in nature recharging your energy palms to the sky recharging your energy emotional withdrawal trapped in fear you could have been in an emotionally withdrawn space trapped in fear scared of what could have you know what was going to come next not knowing what was coming next but just trust that as you go and you receive you know, your your guidance and meditation, trust that your wishes are about to be fulfilled. Like I said before, you have a very solid foundation. Anything that was sent to you is instantly 
return to sender. All negative energy that was sent to destroy you is instantly returned to sender. You are powerful. Extremely powerful. And you're going to be very successful and victorious and prosperous. Like, I see nothing but good energy here. Positive energy. This other energy of just sadness and mopiness, it really truly gives me that this is this is um, past energy. This could possibly be the energy of those who rose against you. Okay? Because you were sitting here to do something and there was a lot of people coming in trying to interfere with what it is that you were sent to do. Not knowing or they could have possibly knew exactly who you were. But they didn't think that you knew who you were. So now that you know and you're, you know, you've grown, you're going to be able to celebrate very soon. There's a blessing that's coming in here for you. As long as you keep speaking your truth and standing in your light. Take the time to, you know, address what hurts so that you can embrace the good parts of yourself with love. Right? Yeah. Someone is thinking about you in a romantic way. This could be somebody who has the same soul of, as you. Um... This person is borderline obsessed with your energy at this point. Okay? They they feel as though you have like healing energy. Like when you guys lay with one another, if you have before, they they feel as though you're like the best they've ever had. Okay? I ain't gonna say like you are. And the feeling that you give to this person they can't find it anywhere else and it's causing them to just feel overwhelmed like everywhere they turn it's not satisfying them they don't even want to deal with anybody else but trust that this upgrade again is coming in here for you and can't nobody stop you Nobody can stop this upgrade that's coming in here for you. Okay? Somebody was being falsely guided in the past. But I see that now they see through that. Now they see through the illusions. And they're deciding to transform. This is transform here again. So this somebody is going through. <coughs> excuse me. Somebody is going through an initiation. Somebody is self-reflecting as well. Self-reflecting. About possibly how they could have been moving in an immature way. Or self-reflecting on how you can be more present for your children. But here we go with caution and missing peace. Right? <clears throat> so, make sure you, like... You're being careful with your energy and that you're not projecting your own imagination onto somebody else. Because just because you feel as though somebody you would react one way doesn't mean that you have to think for the next person and assume that they're going to react that way. Okay. Hold compassion and be willing to forgive what you give out is what you will receive. Okay? <clears throat> Somebody is feeling bound to some type of situation. And then you have level up here. Somebody would, somebody could have um, been lying on you. You know, that chaos and conflict that came out. That, chaos, that conflict and defeat. Whatever these people were trying to do to you is now what they suffer from. Because you are free 
freely leveling up. I mean, literally on the elevator to success. Excuse me. I wonder what's this missing piece. Missing piece. Yeah. Yeah, somebody is literally bound, locked up, caged up. This could be spiritually, mentally, physically. Yeah. Because someone didn't someone didn't heed this warning here. Someone didn't realize that they were getting exposed. Someone didn't see how much protection you began to have. <coughs> Excuse me, as you started to walk in your life purpose. All right? They didn't expect you to grow at such this rapid rate and get this protection here. Because now you're, you're protected from all blockages and obstacles. Somebody is trying to create blockages and obstacles. But like I said, you protected yourself. And whatever they were doing is completely done. They can no longer do it. Okay? They have manifested themselves into a... A dead end. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, someone was pretending. We got fake hair. Someone was pretending. Hiding from themselves. Okay. But it's something new coming in. This year cycle or some type of cycle is closing out. And there's newness coming in here, okay? <clears throat> From this fake card, I'm also getting that someone could have been trying to say that you were fake because you spoke on your dreams, your visions, your intuition. And they were trying to say that you were fake. But I see now, you like, you know, they were laughing at you. They thought it was funny. That you were using your gifts, okay? They thought it was funny. But because you didn't stop, you're going to be gifted. And these, you know, some somebody's gonna really, you know, they because they were being so childish, they're gonna be really all in their feelings. But again, you know, that's neither here nor there. Continue to hold compassion for these people. Pray that they find their life purpose so that they can walk in their own life purpose and be happy and confident as you stand in your life purpose, okay? Like I said, let pray that they find their own confidence to stand in their own life purpose because these people were sending you evil eye because they were hiding from themselves because they didn't like themselves, Okay? They wanted to say that you were fake because they didn't like themselves because they put on sure like shows pretending to be someone that they're not. Okay. But I see that this access was denied. They got blocked. Again, your spirit team is not playing with these people. All right. So let me see what else I can get here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of clarity, may the clarity flow through me. May I speak truth and clarity for the collective. Alright. Anything else for the collective? With the title Wow Rose. Oh, okay, no, okay. <laughs> mm. So, somebody was in the shadows, I feel like. They could have been, um, you could, you could, somebody was in the shadows, right? This is the Hermit card. I don't know if y'all can see that. It was the Hermit card. 
somebody who's going through a dark night of the soul, going through their own initiation, you know, really worried about or feeling like blocked from opportunities or something like that. Someone could have been lying. These people were actually lying on either a Virgo or a Scorpio here with this death card and that hermit card. They were lying on this person who likes to be alone as a hermit um, to create endings for this person, okay? So they were trying to keep them, like, tucked. They could have been trying to keep you away, tucked away. You're a hermit, you know? You don't really, you don't really, you don't really vibe with too many people, you know? Because once you get to a certain vibration, you can't, being around certain energies begins to compromise your vibration. So you like to just, you know, be alone. Um, I see that like with this judgment. Is this judgment? This is not judgment. What is this? Devil. This is the devil card. So people could have been trying to paint you as like a devil-like person. Because see, look, these people are like scared of this hermit. Okay, that's that hermit back there. That's that same energy. That same energy that you're in, that you're just like, you know what? I'm going to stick to myself, you know, just not bother nobody. I'm going to be over here with my little lamp. They, like, it's like people were lying on you and painting you out to be someone who you weren't. Possibly because of the way that you were able to speak and use your intuition. But see, that's a generational curse that you've broken. Because you still continue to speak your truth fearlessly despite what it is that these people are saying about you. They were saying, you know, that you were young. You, you know, you were, you were, you were a young messenger who was making up things is what they were trying to portray you as to block this ace of pentacles from coming towards you because there's an opportunity that's coming towards you still because what's destined will always be okay because ain't nobody god no matter how many spells they try to do over your life they're not god and god always has the final say sometimes god likes to let people do stuff rack it up and then hit them all at one time but then again we're holding compassion so i pray that they can handle it um so you know like i said this is something that people were doing for a very long time plotting and planning and now somebody really regrets plotting and planning on you they regret it they regret painting you out to be this nasty person because you know everything they said it was all out of jealousy because of you being a star you being someone who you know gets a lot of attention you shine bright and you shine bright with love genuinely right so people were attacking you for that But I see that wherever all this stuff was, where there was all this confusion and conflict, that's all ending. Because you took a leap of faith and started to use your gifts. Right? You took a leap of faith. All this conflict, you start to use your gifts. Okay? You are giving to people in a way that they can't even give back to you. But you're doing it expecting nothing in return. Right? And for that, you're going to be blessed. And, you know, people misjudge your energy. This is the judgment card, the karma card. People misjudge you. Like I said, they misjudge you as this dark evil person because of the lies that were told on you but i see that again you will be blessed <laughs> you will be blessed 
there's a Ten of Cups situation coming in here for you that has your name all over it. And you are the Empress. So you're a very loving and nurturing person. Very mothering person. You will be victorious. So trust that. Everything you need is coming right to you. There's so many people watching you that you don't even know. You don't even know who these people are. You don't know how they're watching you. But just know that they're watching you. And they see you. And they see you speaking the truth. They see you being real. They see you moving forward. There's a lot of people all in their head about you. There's a lot of conversation about you right now. And how much you're like a total package. A wish fulfillment. Okay? And you do it by yourself. You don't have to rile up a team of people to read energy and siphon other people's energy. And you don't got to do that. And you know, this is putting you in like a boss-like energy. You're running your own business by yourself with your kids. Okay? You're doing it. People wanted you to feel rejected. Cast it out, lonely, but you're like, I'm the shit by myself. <laughs> That's why y'all are mad. <laughs> so, stay noble. I ain't gonna say humble because you're very important. But we gonna say noble. And stay compassionate, loving. Because you deserve every blessing that's coming towards you. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like, comment, share. Later.